going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. Today I have my good friend Maverick with me here. Hey guys. And we'll be shooting his gorgeous Subaru WRX. So yeah, you can come over here, talk a little bit more about the car. Um, so for people who don't know, what year make and model is this car? Uh, this is a 2016 Subaru WRX. I got it on, I think around end of 2015. Okay, so you're brand new pretty much? Yeah. Only owner? Nice and Never vaped on, you know. <laughs> it's a Subaru thing. Yeah, it comes with it. <laughs> comes with a vape when you buy the Subaru. So fresh from the Subaru dealership, bone stock and everything. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Um, and let's start from the front. So a lot of stuff has been done to the car over the few years you've owned it. Uh, from the front end, what's uh, I guess some stuff that you have done to the front end so far in the exterior? Um, I changed out the front bumper to charge speed. Mm -hmm. Front mount and a cooler. Uh, my headlights. And what uh, front mount and a cooler do you have? ETS. ETS, nice. Then uh, I have uh, V lamp headlights. <clears throat> Is it kind of like a jewel, like a diamond eye? I uh, know, it more looks like a Type R. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, switch it on for me. Let me oh, yeah. check it out. So. VLAN headlights, ooh, yeah, when he signals, oh wait, looks pretty cool, like a sequential. Nice, that's badass. Well, with the headlights on, this is the, like, daytime running light? Yeah, it has a breathing sequence to it. That's nice. All right, and then the charge speed. So, you mentioned charge speed from bumper. You actually have the whole, like, charge speed kit on this thing, right? Yeah. Okay, um... So for people who don't know, Charge Speed is a really reputable, famous Japanese company. Here's the logo, Charge Speed. How long is production time? Is it like made to order or? Made to order, but on this one, because um, I have a, I don't want to say like a direct contact with them, but I'm friends with the owner of Charge Speed Japan uh -huh. throughout the years. And then I've been talking to him a lot ever since I saw this bumper. Okay. Then I asked, um, I just told him, one day I'm gonna get it. Then who knew he actually took it to heart and he started building it and then he saved it for me. That's awesome. So, so pretty quick. It, he already got it over here in the United States. Nice. Yes, so now that we covered the front end, let's move over to the side over here. So from the side, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, let's start with the body kit again. Since you mentioned chart speed front bumper, this is uh, is this part of the whole same chart speed kit? Yeah, um, the, the whole fender is wide body chart speed. It's a whole fender replacement? Yeah, and then you have this um, attachment here. Nice, and then and it says chart speed. And oh, this this is OEM? No, this, no, that's not. It's aftermarket. Nice, and do you know how much wider the fronts are? Like 15 mil or? Uh, I'd say around. 30 mil. 30 mil? Okay, it's pretty aggressive. And the side skirts too, part of charge speed? Yes. Um, the door attachment also. And since this one also is this part. Okay. Because you see where the cutoff is over here. Yeah. Nice. And you open it, you can see it over here. And this part also. Okay. Nice. So, yeah, the side. The front fenders, the side skirts, the rear, all the way down here. So it's just really aggressive all around. The rear actually has three parts, right? One yeah. by the door, one here, and one by the rear bumper. Actually four. Four? The side skirts. Oh yeah, this little piece right here. And the cool thing is, since it's from Charge Speed, you have all the little Charge Speed logo. Um, and what made you went with Charge Speed? So there's a lot of different, you know, brands out there. Oh yeah. Um, it's because of the quad fog lights. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if uh, if you can see it. Like, but if you look at it from afar and you compare it to the R34 front end, uh -huh. it has similarities. Okay. Especially with the air duct at the bottom of the bumper. That's really aggressive. Yeah. So like, the fog lights. Part. Oh yeah. Dang. That's yeah. That's really all the little details. And then. On the side, we can't forget these beautiful wheels. So, um, yeah, what kind of wheels? You go through so many wheels. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> How many are, sets have you gone through? I think around 13 to 14. <laughs> Dang. And how long have you had the current set? These are Advan TC4s? Yeah, um, probably less than 300 miles. Sheesh. So, 
Among all the different wheel setups you have, if you had to pick just like your top three that you ever had on the car, what would they be? It would be the T37 RT mm -hmm. that I used to track with. It would be AirTech Catalia wheels, which is uh, has that rose gold lip with the satin black faces. Mm -hmm. Then the other one would be my Blitz Techno Speed Z points that I had. Those are nice. Uh, Sensei 6. Okay. So these Advent wheels wouldn't even fall in the top three that you had so far. No, uh, I originally <laughs> wanted it to be white. Okay. And I wanted the GT, but they didn't have it in stock. Uh huh. Um, I had to wait like three months, and I wanted to go back into a single piece wheel instead of a multi, a multi piece. Yeah. And they have it. They said, "Oh, we have a Advan TC4 in bronze." I was like, "I don't like it because it comes with the ring." But they said, "No, we have the discontinued colorway without the ring, and mm -hmm. it's dressed in the United States." And I was like, "Okay, I'll take it." I actually like the bronze on the black. It looks pretty cool. The color it gives it a lot of contrast. It does, yeah. And then uh, small little details here. I see like you have uh, some new chrome lug nuts as well. Yeah, they're uh, Project Kicks. Project Kicks, nice. And then Brembos. These are the are they the OEM Brembos or no? no? They, are, they are OEM from a 2017 STI. And then nice. They got a rebuilt and powder coated, paired with a uh, DBA rotors. Hot pads and stainless steel brake lines. Okay, and do they bolt right on from the STI or yes, do you? They do. Oh, yes, really? They do, okay, yeah. that's awesome. So, no custom brackets? No, unless you do um, CTSB brake swap, then you have to have a custom bracket. Okay. But other than that, everything bolts on. So, four pistons on the front and two pistons on the rear? Yes. Nice. And then for tires, what are you running currently? Uh, Toyo Proxies. Okay. Do you like the Toyo tires? I like them. I used to ride around in Hank Cook Ventus because uh -huh. um, they've been good to me throughout the years. But Toyo Proxies have driven it like for longer drives from Houston to Austin. It never gave me any issue. Okay, nice. It's quiet. I like it. It's a little bit creepy. Mm -hmm. So that's good. It's good enough for me. Nice. And um, what kind of suspension setup are you on right now? Right now I'm on Silver's Neo Max. Some callover setup. Mm -hmm. um, so, fun fact Maverick actually was static, went to air, back to static now, also considering going back to air. So, you've been on both setups, and would you say you still prefer the air setup or the static setup? To be honest, um, if I didn't have the white body kit, I really prefer being static. Okay. But since I have a, a fiberglass kit, mm -hmm. I really love the air suspension. It's just that my personal experience with it wasn't great, but just because it happened to me doesn't mean it's gonna to happen to anybody else too, right? Right. It's just, um, uh, I would say air suspension is my way to go. Just so you don't, if you guys yeah. didn't know, fiberglass body kits, whether it's the bumper or fenders, they, I mean, they tend to crack uh, if you hit something really hard. So it happened to me and it's it's not a cheap fix, so. It's expensive. <laughs> it so is. Crack can range from anywhere 300 just to fix it. That's cheap and not, you have to think about the labor, yep. the paint, not just the cost of paint, the paint installation also, mm -hmm. and then paint matching it. And it's not that it's cheap, it's just that, it. it's just that most kits out there made of fiberglass. That's, I mean, various made of fiberglass, char chart speed, a lot of big brands out there. Um, let's see, on the side profile, anything else off the market? Like, I see some window visors. Um, that's, a, that's just... I forgot where I bought those from. It's been there for a while. Okay, a little sticker going on. <laughs> cool. Anything else on the site? Uh, no, you want to cover the kit, the wheels, suspension. Those are the few main things on the site. All right. So let's come around to the back. That's also one. I think my. And you know this car is so aggressive. I usually I have like either a favorite like the front, the side, or the back. This car just looks great all around. I I can't really. I don't know. It's hard for me to pick. But let's move on to the rear. Okay, so the rear end, the booty. Let's cover this massive wing out here first. So, tell me about this setup here you have. you Besides the wheel setup, you also went through a lot of different wing setups. Yeah, I had APR, I had Barry Spoiler, I had obviously a Voltex. Um, you had duck bill setups too? Duck bills, I had a couple of those at least. I think four. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, in total, I had like at least seven trunks. <laughs> I had a lot of holes. Yeah. And every time that got a lot of hose. Spoiler, I would find a new trunk. Uh huh. Because I don't want it to look janky with like someone murdered it. Right. 
So yeah, this um this is the last spoiler I'm gonna have on it. It's a Voltex Type 4, 1800 mil. I had to wait some time for it because I ordered it from Japan. So 1800 is the like the width, how wide? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the widest you can go. And they start at 1500 all the way to 18? Yeah. Okay. I believe so. This one okay. is um funny funny how it is, but it's an Evo X base mount. It actually fits perfectly. A base mount. So the the wing and the stands, everything, it's pretty much universal, but it's just a base mount that I guess fits the Evo 10 truck. Yeah. Okay. And nice. it also had this paint match to the car, this uh the stands. It's usually in dry carbon, right? No, just no? In, um black. Oh just like this kind of flat black. Uh -huh. Oh okay. So with Voltex wings there's a couple of ways to I guess tell whether it's real or not. This one just by looking you can tell it's real. Um one of the things I learned is the dry carbon underneath here. A lot of and brands. If you take off the fin, the little serial yeah, number. The serial number is right there. Yep. So it's it's a gorgeous setup. Uh, let's see. And then you also have a little duck bill going on. Is this OEM yeah, or? Yeah, this is OEM. Okay. So just a WRX. Um, again, the SCI comes with the bigger wing, WRX stock. Just just this little duck bill. Yeah, or no lip at all. Okay. Base models. Uh, and then we have this aftermarket Subaru badge. Custom plates, um, tail lights. Tell me about the tail lights. Um, they're spec detuning tail lights. I like them a lot. It's it's really nice the way it is. Get it one more time. Ooh, this is a little sequential. That looks really cool. It's really bright. So that's <laughs> that's good. Full LEDs. Never gave me any issue thus far. Unlike mm -hmm. some of the other tail lights that I had, that I had some on condensation issues. Yeah. This okay. One, so far they're so good. Okay, they look great. And again, with the whole car being black, this kind of slightly smoked out look really looks aggressive. Um, and then on the rear here, this is part of the charge speed uh, rear diffuser, I guess, or is the whole bumper is charge speed? Yeah, the whole bumper is charge speed. Okay, so just like the front bumper, it's a whole bumper replacement. Yeah. So um, this part at the bottom is the part that sends out the most to me. And I guess it's meant for a quad tip exhaust. Yeah, it is. I have a single exit exhaust, but I always put on the quad tips because it looks weird with just a single exit. Right. And it I'm, comes with this little brake light thing too. Mm -hmm. Nice. What are you going to say? Oh no, um, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So on the back end and then about the exhaust. So what kind of exhaust setup do you have right now? Right now, um, we have a Grim Speed catted down pipe and then a Grady intermediate pipe and then we have a T304 stainless steel custom axle back because the charge speed rear bumper sits a little bit lower than OEM and further out. Mm -hmm. So the issue that I have, I had ETS before and I had to get it bent just to get it to fit. Oh wow, and okay. And it still would like hit the sidewall so I was like Let's just take it out. I'll put my Tomei in. And luckily, uh -huh. since the Tomei sits fairly low. Yes, um, yeah, it does. From the factory. So it fits really well. But I was like, oh, it doesn't look okay to me. So I'll, I'm going to go back to an axle back. So I put in my uh, ready intermediate pipe. Mm -hmm. Then have uh, I went to a shop called Backyard Auto. Had uh, one of my friends over there build me an axle back from scratch. It sounds good. I mean, yeah, it just sounds very custom, like a bunch of different bits to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and while we're on the topic of that, I guess we can transition over to what's done under the hood, you know, like power-wise under the hood. So let's take a quick look. Oh, here we have it. So this car, you might think from the outside, some guys might be like, oh, it's all show, no go. This car does have some parts to it. Really clean engine bay. And this car, Maverick used to track. Um, now he does car shows, but all around really badass build so yeah tell us a little bit of let's talk about what's done cosmetically first and then we go can go to like the power stuff okay so first we have all this password jdm um carbon trims in it and discontinued they're still in the market okay i believe so as far as i know good stuff um i have a cover for the struts but i took it off because i always play with the dampening okay um this is Ooh. custom um, cold uh, piping and my um, IAG AOS also is has a custom, I would say shell. So I, I got everything in carbon fiber just to match this. Mm -hmm. 
And then my intake manifold is actually from a BRZ that's the, uh, thankfully, a company called IBR started making um, the kit so you could fit this manifold in it. That's really pretty. Before so Before it was just plastic and it looks bad. Yeah. Dang, it looks nice. So you just bolt on that manifold? Mm-hmm. You okay. just have to trim it over here. Okay. By the HPFP, I believe, right here on this side. Okay. Dang. And I remember one of the shows you were at my house in Austin putting all these caps on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where are they from again? Um, I believe they're from Renegade Motorsports. Okay. So the all the caps, brake fluid cap, mm -hmm. coolant cap, and all that. Nice. Yeah, and then other than that... I see this Perrin, what is that, yeah, is that a motor mount? A Perrin motor mount and I have also a Perrin brace over there because mm -hmm. on that pitch weld, I believe that's what it is on this part, okay. they tend to crack. Oh, okay. So thankfully Perrin came up with a solution and making a, reinforcing it with that. Nice. One thing I really like about Subarus, this thing is like right up here, yeah, easy for really oil easy. change. <laughs> Cool. Um, and then anything else cosmetically, uh, engine bay that you want to touch on? No, just that's about it. Yeah. Okay. What about power wise? Like in terms of, do you change out anything? Like you know? Oh yeah. Um, so I have the IJOS competition series. Um, why did I go with that? It's because I don't know. When I bought it, that's what it came with. Mm -hmm. So I was really happy with that. And then um, I have the IBR intake manifold which is a brz intake manifold mm -hmm. and then you have their does uh, it have a bigger throttle body oh yeah oh, okay no, it's, it's the same same size same, okay same size. it's oem then i have their um, full tgv and egr delete kit nice then this ets cold piping obviously for the front mount mm -hmm. you can't see it but there's a cob um ao um big sf intake over there sorry. somewhere so this thing feeds all the air somewhere over in here. here yeah okay and so ets whether it's in a cooler piping front mount all is from ets yeah okay except for the intake and the down pipe but every single piping for like you said it is ets okay nice um and currently what kind of tune are you running oh i'm i'm pro-tuned by a company called cp Motorsports. Okay. Based in south of Houston. Um, they tune anywhere from daily drivers to high power cars. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I believe they tuned a couple of uh, 1,000 horsepower Evos and Subarus too. Wow. Are you running a 93 tune or flex oh, field? 93. 93. Yeah. Okay. And this thing is just, like I said, all around pristine. Uh, yeah, so engine and then let's go around to the interior. That's also another part that I really like. Let's check it out So here is the gorgeous interior So let's talk about what's being done to the driver's side first. So first up Tell me more about this steering wheel. Is it an OEM steering wheel that you have carbon over? Oh, no, I bought that separately um, So it has carbon fiber and Alcantara suede Nice and a flat bottom steering wheel mm -hmm. Still keep like your airbag as well as all your factory controls and all that. Yes. So really nice. Yeah, because um, I wanted to go with a quick release. Eventually, mm -hmm. I might do that. Mm -hmm. Probably sometime before the year ends. But for now, I'm really okay with this. Okay. And then there's a lot of you know all this stuff being done. All red hydro dip. Yes. Nice. So everything here, here your gauge cluster, on the side, other side. Uh, and then this part here, really cool. I wasn't sure, but you, you're saying this was all custom done as well, all the yes, stitching? Yes, uh, it, it was done by uh, an upholstery shop north of Houston. Even here as well, nice. All in the little details. Because they said, apparently, they don't sell this Alcantara suede to the public. So uh -huh. it only it's only available through certain dealers. So I had to go there, get it done with them, get a whole new dash for it oh wow that's really nice and then over here oh this i just noticed this too this is in carbon fiber that e-brake um talk about your shifter setup here you have oh yeah um well basically we have a we are likewise um, um i don't know what it's called but it's a really long shifter 
At first it was uncomfortable to use, but after using it every day, it's been good so far. And I like it. It pairs perfect with my short throw shifter, which mm -hmm. is also a parent brand. Okay. Subaru use a lot of parent parts, right? Yeah, a lot. Okay, nice. And let's see here. And then the seats, can't forget about that. So right now, oh, so <laughs> just like the wheels, the wing, Maverick also goes through seats pretty often. Uh, yeah. Currently, tell me about these seats. What do you have right now? Uh, right now, we have a Charge Speed Japan full carbon fiber seat in red cloth. Let me show. Full carbon fiber because on the back, it's full carbon back. It says Charge Speed on there. So yeah, super nice. And they are pretty rare too. Yeah. And there's, then for the... There's only like a couple of people that have it. To be honest, in the United States, based on what charge speed told me, there's probably only like three or four. Oh, wow. And what kind of uh, seat rails are you using? Rides. Rides. Okay. Dang, even all this is carbon here. It's a lot of carbon going on. Um, just saw this. That's in carbon too all in the little details and then let me come around to the passenger side take a better look here i want to look at the double din so to the unassuming eye you would think it might look kind of oem but it's actually off the market um so you're saying that stock it does come with it already in the 2016 model yeah it was a double din but it's bad so i had to replace it with a pioneer head unit pioneer pretty much the best one you could get in the game um nice are all these dowels oem no they're also aftermarket nice yeah it's like they look pretty cool <laughs> dang so a lot of stuff a lot of custom stuff here for sure uh let's see what else just some weather tech floor mats and just to show you well in the back we don't really have much going on but <laughs> just to yeah. show you guys you could fit your kids you could fit pretty much there's a lot of space back here was this car ever the family car at one point? Or? It was never the family. Never. <laughs> but you can if you want to, like you today. Can. <laughs> you can't fit like, I don't know, four kids in the back. <laughs> so there's a lot of space, a lot of leg room, um, all around badass build. Anything else you want to add that I might have missed out on, on the car that is, uh, you know, worth no, covering? That would be it. I wish I had my air suspension set <laughs> so I could show you the air, uh, the trunk setup that I had to go with it before. But fortunately, I sold that and went back to being static. Yeah, so like I say, Maverick has been going, you know, he might be going back air in the future. But as of right now, he's static. Uh, really excited. Again, I'm going to link his Instagram right here. If you want to check out his build, give him a follow on Instagram super badass build um this car like i said is i don't know in my opinion one of the baddest looking subarus out here in texas i might be biased because the car is black too but you know it's like the twin i have the same same but different mine's the mitsubishi he's the subaru we're both white body both big wing setups uh, both sedans yeah, we, but we both had carbon fiber hood in that that's right what happened to yours i sold it <laughs> that's why Okay. I actually ordered. Now it's a stock hood? A different hood without the scoop. It's an inverted scoop. Okay. Yeah. Dang. Um, I'm waiting on it. It's been a while. Hopefully they get it done. But with the pandemic and everything, it take some time. That's awesome. It's, yeah, just all around really badass built inside and out. And if, again, if you guys are thinking this car just looks cool, he actually does track it. He used to track it a lot. Um, so yeah, it's just really nice well to build. Is there anything that you wanted to do say in the near future? So you mentioned air suspension setup, the yeah, hood. Yeah, um, going back to air suspension, probably purchase another three-piece set. Okay. Probably this time get my BRWO three faces built. Okay. And put on my carbon fiber roll cage. Ooh. And change the seats. Nice. Are you going to strip all the back seats? Oh no. Um, yeah, you're right. I am. Okay. Make like a carbon fiber uh, seat, back seat. Really cool. Dang, that's gonna be, this is gonna look so good. Like the car is already on a whole nother level, but Maverick's gonna change it up. And spoiler alert, but <laughs> the spoiler is also coming off. So he's gonna go to a different setup. So yeah, if you guys stay to the very end, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Again, if you wanna check out his build, make sure to follow him on Instagram. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.